If you use the Stream Deck for live streaming, then you may be interested in these five plugins or rather plugin actions that I find useful when I'm live streaming and actually in preparation to go live as well. So let's come and start with the uh, first one, which is actually the Twitter plugin. Uh, now this is one of the Elgato ones, which is uh, built in. So um, you may have seen it, you may not, but it is, uh, as I say, one of the sort of initial stock ones that they'll usually have built in. Uh, and it is just here over on the uh, left-hand side, it will say uh, Twitter and the two options you got our tweet or change name so you can actually change your Twitter handle using this um, or you can uh, send out a tweet so it's as simple as that you just drag and drop it onto uh, uh, one of the buttons uh, and then the options you've got here are you can enter your text for whatever you want to tweet out uh, and then you can also add an attachment if you want to tweet an image or something like that with it as well um, and then here you'll see the account selection as well uh, now it will uh, have um, add account if you've not actually gone through and added an account um, but you can also see the account that you've got added uh, if you come into your settings uh, then accounts this is where you would go through uh, beforehand if you hadn't set this up yet uh, you could go through beforehand and add in your twitch account your twitter account and also your youtube account and we'll come to youtube in a moment because uh, that is one of the other ones that i want to talk about as well uh, but basically yes you can just go through and add in something that you want to tweet so what might you want to use this for well if i come back out of this folder for a second so what I have is this is my uh, sort of screen that I have usually when I'm either live streaming or recording. Uh, I also use it with the uh, the Loop Deck as well. I'll leave a link in the description to a video I did all about how I use those two together, uh, but I don't want to get uh, <laughs> sidetracked too much in that right now. Uh, so what I also have though is if this is the screen that I have when I'm live, uh, this second screen is actually one that I have when I'm sort of getting ready to go live. So getting things set up and so on. Um, and one of the things that I've got on here is uh, these two actions. Uh, one is saying live and one of them is live in one hour. Uh, and basically what that is, is if I click on that, you'll see that the tweet says uh, live now on YouTube, come and say hi. Um, and so the, uh, the link that I've got in there, this is another little tip for you, is I have the uh, link as www.youtube.com slash take one tech slash live. Uh, and if you just use that sort of format, but obviously replace it with your channel name, uh, it will always take people through to your latest live stream. So it means that I can keep that one in there. I don't need to go and update the link every time I'm going to do a live stream. It will always just take people through to my latest. So it works well for this particular application of tweeting out those links. Uh, now, whilst we're on this screen, uh, sometimes when I am uh, not live streaming, then I'll have music or things that I'm listening to and have them coming out through the speakers on my computer, my external speakers. Um, other times I will have it uh, coming through my headphones. And obviously when I'm live streaming, I want it to come through my headphones. So the next little one that I want to show you is uh, this one here. I've got this icon uh, up here, which is basically for me to switch between my headphones and my speakers. Uh, and that is this little plugin here called um, Toggle Audio Devices. Uh, in fact, it's called Audio Switcher. <laughs> so if you go, want to go and grab this one, you'd need to go into the store. Uh, and so to get to the store, you would just come up to this little icon just up here, click on this one. And then uh, if I switch over to this screen here, um, you'll see that we it will take you through to this uh, Stream Deck splash screen, the Discover screen, come down to plugins, uh, and then you would just search for uh, Audio Switcher. Um, if I can spell it right. <laughs> there we go that's why it's not turning up so then it's it you find it here audio switcher and you click on the install button uh, and that would uh, then install it now all it is is if i come back to this screen now and let me come into this little demo folder that i created um what you'll find is that uh, in this audio devices, so it's for the actual name of the plugin in here actually is slightly different to the way it appears in the store. So it's called Audio Switcher, but it appears here as Audio Devices. And you've got two things here. So one is toggle audio device or one is set audio device. Um, so the toggle works for me because I'm only ever switching between two things. It's either going to be my earphones or it's going to be my external speakers. So all you do is you just drag this onto any button and then what you'll see as it pops up is you've basically got a primary and a secondary device. Uh, and so what you can do here is just click the little down arrow and you'll just find a list of every device that you've got attached to your computer. So just as you were you know, selecting an input or output source or an output source, I should say, on anything else, 
all of those will show up. So I've got my uh, external headphones, Mac mini speakers, Rodecaster Pro 2 chat, secondary and main and so on. So you just basically select what you want for your main uh, and what you want for your secondary. Uh, and then with the icon, you can sell, uh, select the icon to be in two states. So it does default to uh, these ones here. So uh, the this one here, and then if I click that, so when you switch states, it's going to sort of swap these around. Um, and it's as simple as that really. And then when you press the button, it's going to toggle between them. If you want to actually just have a range of different ones, so maybe you've got lots of different things, uh, then here you can just have a um, uh, the you know multiple instances of this set audio device uh, and then choose which one you want to assign to each of them so that then you have multiple different buttons but as i say the uh, simplicity of just a single toggle for me uh, worked well and the way that that is for me then if i come back into this screen is just here so i've got this one uh, and it either shows my uh, headphones um, or it switches and shows my uh, speaker so that is the uh, second one that i wanted to uh, talk about um, the third one is, I mentioned the YouTube uh, login, I should say, in settings. Well, that is so that we can use the YouTube plugin as well. So let's have a little look at uh, what that does. If I uh, just close Twitter, close this one, and then we have a look at YouTube. Uh, there's a couple of things it can do in here. So first of all, you can have the uh, number of viewers displayed on the screen. So if I was live streaming now, it would actually show me how many viewers were on the live stream. Uh, but this one is the one that I find useful, this chat message. Uh, and what this enables you to do is actually write out a message in advance. And then when you press the button during your live stream, then it's going to actually place that message into the chat. So if there's things that you want to talk about, like you want to post links or things like that, then you could just uh, sort of create these in advance. Uh, and then as you're on the live stream, you can uh, press those uh, as you go through. Um, so certainly if you don't have moderators that are posting those sort of things for you, uh, then that can be useful. I also use this when I've got sort of ad hoc links that I want to post. And in fact, what I did was, uh, as well as having this uh, screen, which is for my live stream, and this one is for my preparation. I've also got this one, which is a load of sort of template buttons, if you like. Uh, and I had this one, which is basically a comment template. Uh, and all I did was I created a little uh, background. And so I can uh, call these whatever I want. So if this is Comment one, for example, uh, I would call it something more <laughs> meaningful. Uh, but you can see that I can now see exactly uh, what that is in that uh, that box. Uh, and then I just literally copy and paste that into uh, my main page. So you'll notice on my main page, I've got these comment templates down here. Uh, so I might have, you know, three or four of those, depending on what I'm talking about on the live stream and what I might want to just be able to uh, post. So very useful to be able to do that, to be able to just, uh, as I say, post these as you are going through the uh, uh, as you're going through your live stream. So once again, with YouTube, you would set that up in the settings, uh, but you'll notice here as well, if you haven't gone in and logged in, then it will ask you though for the account that you want to uh, use this with. Uh, and so you would just come and click on add new, and that would be the way that you would change it from your existing one. Or if you hadn't got one added in, that would be the way that you could add it in to begin with. Incidentally, you can only have one uh, YouTube account linked at any given time. And the linking process is the standard thing of giving something access to your YouTube account. You'll click that button, it'll open up the YouTube, uh, you'll log in with your uh, YouTube ID, uh, and then uh, I've just approved the access for Stream Deck to have access to that. Uh, incidentally, if you are interested uh, in the icon packs that uh, you can see here, or the icons that I've got here, uh, I do have a range of icon packs that are available on my store. So if you go to takeonetech.io slash store, as well as my Ecamm Live Masterclass and Zoom Masterclass, uh, if you scroll down a little bit, you'll also find the icon packs that I've got available. Uh, I do tend to make all of my uh, icons. I'll leave a link to the video that I made about how to uh, actually make these as well because uh, I actually do them all in Keynote. I find it's very easy to uh, make quick icons in there. So I'll leave a link to that video in the description as well. Um, so the next one though is, uh, let's just go back to the uh, page of my Stream Deck where I'm preparing for a live stream because you'll notice up here, maybe you haven't noticed, but <laughs> you will notice up here that I've got a, a clock and it's basically uh, hours, minutes and seconds. Uh, the reason for this is I do have a clock right above my uh, my desk, but um, it doesn't have seconds on it actually. And I like to have the sort of uh, countdown to see uh, how long it is before the stream starts. Although I've got to say, I've been getting a little bit lax at starting on time because I get too busy chatting in the back chat with the uh, Discord and the backstage pass members of the channel. Uh, but anyway, Anyway, I have got this here nevertheless, uh, and this is using a uh, nice little uh, clock 
plugin which is called Clockworks by Krabs, K R A B S. And it appears in the sidebar here as uh, Krabs hyphen Clockworks, uh, but the name of it is Clockworks. So that's what you would search for in the, uh, in the, um, the store there. So if I just come back over to the uh, demo area or demo screen that I've created, um, then this has got really quite a lot of different ways that you can display date and time on your device. So uh, this is the plugin. These are all the different actions. Uh, and you've basically got uh, either large, medium or small numbering. Um, and then you've also got the time and date. So that's what all these different things are. So you, it will start to make sense. <laughs> you've got uh, a large clock, a 12 hour, uh, digit one and two. So these would be the hours uh, and then the one, uh, the first and second digit. So you can actually give those like basically a, uh, a slot of their own as I drag them on. So at the moment it is 3 p.m. where I am. So that's uh, there's nothing in that one. There's three there. Um, and then if I go on to 24 hour, I could have 24 hour clock. I'll just drag that underneath. So uh, 24 hour clock, we're at 15. Um, then let's look at the minutes. So we've got the uh, minutes here, digit one, uh, digit two. Uh, so it's just basically building up a clock. Uh, and then you can also add in the seconds as individual um individual uh, uh, tiles, if you will, uh, buttons, <laughs> should I say, um, for the clock. So there it is, 3, 21, 58. Uh, I prefer it to have, a, have it a little bit more condensed. So rather than having each button, uh, each number on its own button, what you can actually do is come down uh, a little bit further and you can see we've got these uh, two digit options. So here we've got the 24 hour uh, and the 24 hour minutes and the 24 hour seconds. So that's the one that I was using before. So let me just uh, get rid of these a second. Uh, what you can also do though, is you can see that they've got these separators. So if you actually want to uh, make this uh, look a little bit more clock-like, <laughs> you can just drag this across. I can kind of figure it out without those personally, um, but they've also got date as well. So if you do want to display the uh, date and time on here, uh, then they've got the month number, month name. So we could stick the uh, month name on. Uh, they've also got the day name as well. So let's put the day there. Uh, and then they've got the uh, the day number. So third day, Thursday, <laughs> the 11th of August, uh, and then the year. And you can do either first two digits and last two digits like this. Um, or you can actually do the year as uh, just one single tile. Uh, once you've actually got these on though, then you can actually go through and uh, change some things on it. Uh, so you'll notice down here, if I just make this a little bit smaller, uh, you can give it a title, but then you can change the font uh, on, the, uh, on the text. Uh, you can also change whether it's bold, you can give it a drop shadow, you can change the color of the text. That will pull up the little color picker so we could make that a different color. Uh, like that and then you can also come through and add uh, an image in the background if you want or you can just give it a uh, flat background color as well so that's how you can sort of modify that so what I did was uh, <laughs> because I'm like this uh, I did go ahead and uh, create a little background to it so I've got this nice little uh, clock looking thing <laughs> up here with these uh, these borders on it uh, so that's just helps me when I'm doing a live stream to before it's starting just to make sure that I am actually uh, starting on time or at least that is the uh, the theory behind it. Uh, now the next one that I've got is uh, I suppose relating to a video that I did recently which was all about my Stream Deck pedal and how I use my uh, Stream Deck pedal with lots of different profiles on it and then I use my main Stream Deck here uh, to actually switch between them. And so I've got this little uh, button here, which is the one that I use for switching profiles. I click on that, it takes me through to this other profile and I can choose which profile I want to have on my pedal. Uh, so that's great, but sometimes I just wanna check which uh, profile I'm in because there's no visible way to see that, obviously on the, the pedals themselves, there's no, uh, no icons displayed on the pedals. Um, well, there is actually um, a function which appears in the Stream Deck plugin. So this is not a new plugin. You will all have this one, obviously, because it is just the Stream Deck plugin, uh, but it's this one and it's called Action Bar. If you have got a Stream Deck pedal and you've uh, started using that uh, with the uh, Stream Deck, the regular Stream Deck, then this one will now appear and it's called, as I say, Action Bar. And all it does is, if I just move this one out of the way a little bit, when you click on the, uh, the Action Bar pedal, sorry, the Action Bar 
action, <laughs> what it does is it pops up this little graphical representation on the screen of the uh, Stream Deck pedal and it shows you what is on each pedal. So it's really handy and this is a toggle basically. So it's really handy just to be able to press that and toggle on and off this. So uh, when I'm getting set up for my live stream, just before I go live, I want to make sure that I haven't got uh, some completely different random profile selected on my pedals and I'm gonna be doing all sorts of things I didn't mean to. Uh, and so I just come here, I just press this button and then I can see what those pedals are. It's also good if you are trying out different uh, profiles or different actions on your pedals, you've just got some uh, new setup that you're using. Uh, and so you wanna have this one permanently on the screen. It's just kind of free floating. It does stay on top of everything as well, as well and it's pretty small. So uh, you could just have it sort of tucked away in the corner of the screen, just so that if you wanted that little reminder of what is on the pedal, then you'd be able to uh, just easily jump into it. Now, as I say, th this was something that I covered in a video, these multiple profiles, um, all about how I use these multiple profiles with uh, the Stream Deck pedal. Uh, and I'll leave a link to that video over on the right hand side.